Well, I think we're getting a new class divide in this country between the laptop classes who can sit at home and put the wash on and get the dinner ready, be there when the kids come home from school and people who actually have to go out to work to earn a living. The postmen, the fish and chip shop owners who we've been talking about already on the show this evening. And uh, I do think that fuels resentment. And I do think Peter's absolutely right. You know, there is a productivity crisis. And you were saying earlier, Michelle, about the importance of businesses maintaining profitability. And I think that's far harder to do when you've got your workforce sat in the bedroom, sat at the kitchen table. And I think being in the office really helps create that productive environment. You know, it keeps people focused on the job. I think there's two elements to it. First is the profitability and the productivity. But also some of these um, people who are working from home, they're actually public servants. You think about like people who work producing passports and driving licenses. We've seen major problems this year with people wanting to get driving licenses renewed wanting to get passports, sometimes to be able to start work themselves. They need these documents. And yet there's major backlogs, you know, so many delays. And you just wonder if people were actually in an office where somebody was walking up and down, you know, and people are looking over each other's shoulder. What are you doing on your laptop? You're aware. You put your best self forward. You get dressed up to go to work. You know, would there be so many delays to these services that we're coming to rely on? Mm. Well, there you tell me. I used to uh, work... Well, I did used to work for Alan Sugar and he wouldn't let me work from home either. I had to go into uh, Brentwood, into a, a quite a dull, I'll be honest, quite a dull tower block, office block, so it was, in Brentwood. That's um, my hometown. Is it? Oh, I feel sorry for it. I mean, considerations. <laughs> Jerking, it's a lovely place, lovely place. Uh, do you work from home? What do you think, Joanna reckons, uh, working from home is building resentment uh, against among those who can't? If someone's resentful, someone working from home, why don't they just get a job where they can work from home then? If that's the thing that motivates them. Well, that's not always that straightforward, is it? I mean, if you're a, well, if you're a care worker or if you work in a supermarket, for example, or you are a, a lorry driver or a delivery driver, you know, you might not immediately have the skills or the. You could reskill. You could do a night desire. course. It's not that straightforward, Michelle. Ah. And also, just imagine... Did you hear the word did. you just said then? Desire. You said that you might not have the desire. Well, if you don't have a desire to reskill and move careers, you can't whinge when you see people in different careers working from home. No, but I don't think it's whinging if people were being productive, people were working hard. But I think it's right to whinge when, like I say, you apply for your passport and four months later you've still not had anything. You've got a job as a lorry driver, but you haven't got your driving licence through. I don't think that's whinging. I think that's... That's fair enough, wanting to be able to get on with your life, but being held up because people who are largely working from home are not being as productive as they can be.